So a while ago, I recently made a video talking about Battle Royale in Halo and I, my opinions on that, which if you want to check out that video, it'll be linked in the description down below and at the, at the end of this video as well if you want to check it out. But this is my reply video to you guys. This is kind of a Q&A kind of thing here because uh, I said, you know, that I really wanted to have a Battle Royale in Halo Infinite or just another Halo experience, but in Battle Royale. But I wanted to see what your guys' opinion were, so I had you reply either yes, no, or maybe. Maybe. So I picked out some of the best comments on the last video and some of the highest, highest rated ones as well so we can get a reply here so kind of get further uh, discussion about what makes good battle royale for Halo or if Halo should even have a battle royale mode. So if you guys enjoyed these discussion videos please make sure to tap that like button. Let's let me, let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below as well if you want to continue on with this Q&A kind of discussion format video. I definitely would like to continue on with these. And and if you guys are new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe on the channel with the bell to keep you notified every time we do anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. So let's get right into the video here. So I tried getting a decent mix of yes, no's, and maybes, and uh, so a lot of people had their own opinion on it. So let's get right into it. So first one is from Tommy the Sparta. And he says, no, Halo has been able to have a Battle Royale-like mode since Halo Reach with the DayZ custom game. And as of Halo 5, we have a really good Battle Royale-like custom game with massive canvases to make maps out of and in the forge custom tools and scripting to fine tune little things if halo infinite has a battle royale mode it would be made in forge by the community 343 has resisted the battle royale train and i commend them for it because they're sticking to what they've practiced and refined starting back when bungie was preparing to leave if people want a battle royale in the game I can almost guarantee there will be a custom game of Battle Royale within the first month of release. We Halo fans just have a gifted talent when it comes to making great custom games. Sorry this comment turned into a paragraph, hope someone sees it. And anyways, well, Tommy, uh, this actually seemed to be a pretty common reply that I noticed that a lot of people were saying in the comments of the video saying that uh, that they wanted to give uh, Forgers the opportunity to make a battle royale. If people want a battle royale, they'll make it in Forge and you can play it right there. And that's very true that like if you don't want to give waste time on development on making a battle royale mode, then you can just give the Forgers the opportunity and let them have fun with it. I mean, Forge has been amazing in Halo 5. It's been getting better and better every single year. And it's been making leaps and bounds to the point where like a lot of times you're playing on match, you're like, is this a developer made map? And then you get frame drops and you're like, okay, yeah, no, it's it's a, it's not, but you know what I mean though. But like, I think uh, that is a very good alternative, I'd say. Uh, I mean, there is a Battle Royale mode game that was made in Halo 5, but it definitely doesn't play like our true Battle Royale mode. But that's just be probably just because the proper tools were not given to the Forges to do this. I think the biggest issue would be having uh, the, ma the map size be proper, because I think the whole appeal about Battle Royale is having 100 players in the lobby, or close to it, you know, 88 I think does for Blackout, but... Uh, for solos but like the idea is having 100 players in last man standing you know wins and that's kind of the whole appeal of it uh, i don't think that a forge mode would be able to handle 100 players in a game uh, especially um, i'm not quite sure if halo 5 customs use dedicated servers as well or that they have to use peer-to-peer uh, -peer connections for customs but um, i would say that um, it's hard to do it for custom games because they're just the infrastructure isn't there for to hold that many players in one game really so i think that's a big issue there and also just having the um, engine issues i think might be coming across as well where um, i think because i think a, a big thing that makes help helps make these battle royale games run is that they don't render out the entirety of the map for I think on your end, so then it doesn't stress out your system completely. Um, so they kind of like, you know, you're, there's no need for you to render out something on the lower right hand corner of the map if you're gonna go up to the upper left hand corner. There's no, there's, yeah, I think that's how it works to essentially to kind of improve performance. And I don't think Forge would be able to pull something like that off either. There's a lot of logistical kind of stuff when it comes to that stuff. And that's why I think a developer made version of Battle Royale would be the best version of it. Uh, I mean, we've had a little bit of it in the custom games, but I don't really see 
it working out too well when it comes to Forge, unless you give Forgers the options to do these crazy kind of coding issues or fixing those kind of issues. And at that point, you're basically a developer being working for free. So I would honestly say that if they can't pull it off in customs, if Forge can't get the uh, the tools that they need, then it's not even worth bothering with because. The Battle Royale mode, like in Halo 5, is really not worth playing at all. But, I mean, if, you know, they get the opportunity to forge, maybe. But I would probably lean, lean towards that not happening. And so I don't think a forge version of Battle Royale would work out too well. Next reply here is from Crunchy Bombed. He says, We don't need too many players. 35 would work with a small map and have a round based. The map could be forged. This is, this is so not that much resources are spent. And I think it kind of comes back to the point when I was talking about earlier that the, the appeal of having like 100 players on the map is kind of a, the big thing for Battle Royale. And lowering it down to 35, it just makes it feel like you're getting like a light version of Battle Royale and it's like half-baked and you, do, you didn't go all in on it like Call of Duty did. Uh, I heard that's what Battlefield's doing. They're doing like a 32-man Battle Royale, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. It just seems like it's just kind of like a, a workaround to not ha rework like the infrastructure or rendering system of your engine. Um, yeah, ha not having 100 players is really kind of would just kill the mode completely. This is one of my favorite <laughs> names on here on my channel. It says, nobody cares if you cancel your pre-order liberal. He says, no. Halo BR would bring the wrong crowd, most of them being toxic players. I'd rather have few players that aren't tryhards even though there are tryhards already and i would actually prefer to a better firefight and warzone mode yeah there are a lot of tryhards in halo there's always have been halo's had a very strong competitive community when it comes to the game it's my tryhard game you know you see me on streams i try my best to get good scores i'm painfully average but you know i try to do my best at least but uh you know, I don't think you ever get away from having tryhards in your game. Uh, when it comes to toxic players, um, it's always been kind of toxic, really, dude. I just think nowadays a lot of people don't plug in their mics anymore to be as toxic as they once were. I remember the Halo 3 days where people would talk a lot of crap to each other. And, uh, yeah, they weren't the most polite people, to say the least. But I think it's kind of wherever you go, there's going to be, you know, toxic people just in any game really. I think also the kind of game lends itself to be more toxic to each other. Like a game like Call of Duty can be very toxic because there's a lot of cheesy things, ways to play the game to kind of get cheap kills on people or just a way to get free kills and it's very annoying and so it pisses people off. Where in Halo you don't really have that and you know it's a lot of times when you're dying it's because you're getting outplayed rather than just out cheese like in call of duty now saying you would actually prefer a better firefight or warzone mode that's up to a personal preference i mean I, yeah, I would definitely love to see a better fire an actual firefight mode in the next halo game i personally would be willing to trade out warzone for a battle royale mode but that's just me though i do think warzone does have a lot of potential i'd love to see it expanded on when it comes to infinite because i think there's the groundwork is there for a great mode in Warzone. It just needs a lot more polish and a lot more refined, not necessarily refinement, but just like a more expansive experience where maybe there's like different kinds of map layouts, better AI, maybe, maybe a better point distribution when it comes to uh, earning your racks. So good players get rewarded for playing properly, but then bad players don't get completely stomped on by those good players. So it's, it's a tough thing to balance. Hugo Gonzalez says, Yes to BR, another mode would be nice. More choices is great for Halo. Have Covenant or Flood instead of zombies like in COD Black Ops would have Halo's version of Battle Royale. Now I think that would be absolutely amazing. Adding an AI into uh, the Battle Royale mode would be fabulous. And have it be like a more like substantial part of it, I think would help give it a much more unique aspect to it. Because Halo has always been known for having great uh, campaign AI against like elites. Uh, especially, I can imagine playing against those guys would be pretty tough, and uh, you know, giving them, making them more agile, making them like campaign, you know, elites where they're like smart and they move around, and you know, they actually fight back. That's something that would be very interesting to add into it. And uh, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't want to do it, but I think a Halo crowd would be into something like that as long as they make it interesting enough. It's just like how it is in Warzone, adding in you know elites or AI characters into it. It's gonna be pretty boring, and no one's gonna want to bother with it. And I think Hugo gets to the point of my question. I think a lot of people 
people also in the chat had a big thing about saying they don't want to lose certain aspects or have 343 resources spent on doing battle royale and not on something else but i think the commentary is more on the concept of what would you do if there was a battle royale do you think battle royale works in halo just just talking about it like if there was it what would it do rather than arguing about you know what part of halo would have to go like like how it did in call of duty but i'm saying like in a perfect world would you want battle royale blunt n7 says no remember when 343 followed a trend last time we got halo 4 with COD style loadouts and all that crap. Not everybody likes BR games, and this brings 343's ultimate last chance at getting Halo right, then they should just concentrate on making a true Halo game. Yes, yeah, so I do think a lot of people have very strong negative feelings to Halo having a battle royale due to 343 following trends in gaming and not implementing those trends properly to where it really affects the general gameplay and people don't really like it. That's why you saw my Halo 4 where they tried implementing like perks, kill streaks, loadouts, things like that to make it more COD-like. And it just, but without without balancing out the parts of, you know, what would imbalance the game originally, having weapon drops and weapons on the map, that is just way too much power up, and it's just way too casual, and it just wasn't fun, you know, for at least for me in Halo 4. And yeah, yeah, not everybody likes Battle Royale games, but the thing is, though, that's the most popular game mode out there right now, and I think having a sci-fi you know, move, you know, fast movement kind of like Halo game would be pretty awesome for Battle Royale. It would really stand out amongst the crowd. Plus, it would get people talking about Halo, looking at Halo, playing Halo. I mean, like my clip I shared in the beginning of that video was Dr. Disrespect talking about how, you know, they want Battle Royale and Halo. And, you know, you'd have Dr. Disrespect streaming your game. That's a lot of people. He gets like 50,000 views a stream. You know, concurrent. That's pretty crazy. I guarantee you Ninja would jump on that too. So you'd have a lot of big time streamers showing off your game, which would be super important for Halo. So sometimes I feel like following trends is bad, but sometimes following a trend can be good. And I think maybe following the Battle Royale trend would be a good thing to get more buzz for Halo. Longtime friend Mudkip454 says, No! Why would we? Why would you re waste resources adding a dedicated mode that no one can customize for a trend that will probably de be dead by the next year? Instead, give players more options for custom games, so that if they want wanted, they could set up like players with a hundred player lobby. Not that hard. Again, like I kind of mentioned earlier about saying that I don't think that you would be able to have like an infrastructure for people to make 100 player custom games uh, without having special kind of servers to play on. And leaving it up to custom games, the population can fluctuate greatly to where it'd be super popular then super unpopular, you know, just depending on who's online kind of thing. Like imagine if like a big time streamer decided to jump on, play some custom games with 100 players in it, then they'd be like, oh, our servers are maxed out. We only rented out so many for 100 player limits, you know? So there's that logistical issue there. And I don't really see this battle royale trend dying within a year. Uh, like Fortnite is absolutely huge to the point where I've heard that there's actually more people that play Fortnite than there are Steam users. Think about that. That's pretty crazy. And I know that, uh, you know, Fortnite's kind of starting the downward trend because they've reached market saturation, basically. And, you, you know, everybody and their mom knows about Fortnite. Everyone's at least played it and tried it out. And so they're kind of struggling to maintain those players. But um, even if, you know, Fortnite loses like 50% of their market, they're still like one of, the, not if, one of, if not the most popular game out there still. So the game mode is still incredibly popular. And I don't really see it dying out even within like five years. Cookie Rooster TM says, yes, it would be amazing, but do it by making it possible using Forge. Also, the community made it not 343. Win-win. And I kind of back to what I was saying too, like, yeah, at least I have someone on my side who thinks a battle royale match in Halo would be awesome, but give it to the Forgers. And again, like I said, there's a lot of logistics behind it. It's something that probably could be pulled off, but yeah, it'll be pulling, doing some very special kind of tuning when it comes to Forge to make that work. Lazen Death says, maybe. I feel there's a lot of ways 343 could tackle BR1. 343 could give us the tools in Forge in Halo Infinite. Two, 343 can make a separate game like PUBG or Fortnite. Three, 343 could make a dedicated BR mode 
with dev maps in Halo Infinite, but make sure that all the classic game modes are there in the first before BR. 4 or 343 can make a BR post launch for Infinite. Halo doesn't need BR, but I don't think it would be a bad idea either, as long as the core mo game modes are in first and make it and doesn't take away resources from other parts of the game. I do agree with that though. I think the core aspect of Halo is that 4v4 Team Slayer aspect. If you can get that down, you can change up how, the game however you like. So I would say that yeah, you definitely need to get that core aspect down. That's 100% correct. I do agree with that. And now again, like bringing up to the Forgers, we brought that up. Uh, make it a separate game. That would be something mm, I don't know about that. Maybe make it as like a, a DLC, like a $40 expansion DLC for Battle Royale. If you want to play it, then you can buy it or and have it added on to Infinite. Because I, I think having it as a separate game it would just kind of... Um, it, I, I don't really see that happening since I mentioned about Halo Infinite being a game for service, which makes me think they want this, you know, Halo Infinite to last probably about five years. And so then I maybe see it added in later on, but definitely not as a standalone game. But yeah, 100% agree that they need to get the 4v4 core aspect of Halo down first before going off and making the extra goodies about like Battle Royale, even beyond like the regular objective modes as well. Like you gotta get that 4v4 Slayer down, then you can move on to do other things. I right, have three comments left on here. So this one's from J Jack LG saying, no, Infinite needs to concentrate on refining, removing the mistakes from previous Halo games, fully concentrate on Master Chief. However, from a business point of view, it makes perfect sense. An ODST spinoff would work best. Deployed in the pods, equipment, health packs, uh, etc. Everything in there. But Halo needs to find its lost identity. 314 needs to go back to basics. Gameplay, art style, story, campaign, MP content, developer made maps, etc. etc. The list will, is long and we all know the issues. That's what needs their attention first. And I do, yeah, I, I would say that there was a lot you brought up saying that like, yeah, there was some parts that need to be brought up first. Kind of talking about also what uh, Blazing Death talked about as well, saying that they need to get some much more important aspects of Halo down first before they go into uh, making the Battle Royale mode. Uh, I do say, when you mentioned about like getting back its identity basically of what makes Halo, but that's ultimately like subjective really. You know, to my point of view, it's what makes Halo is like even starts weapon spawns on the map. And, um, you know, that's kind of the basics right there to me. I think Halo 5 Team Arena right now is actually a really good Halo game. And I really do enjoy it. That's why I'm still playing it. I still stream it. I still, you know, I still, I'm enjoying it still. And so I personally, I really like it. Of course, I also like the classic Halos as well. Now, the, the identity is kind of depending on what you think it makes Halo special to you. I will say though, that like, yeah, the art style needs to kind of go back to the classic. I like the classic art style a little bit more. Story and campaign needs to be better. Multiplayer content, yes, yeah, so like you need to launch with a bang, not like a whimper like Halo 5 did. Beeline Sign says, no. I feel like 343 should put more effort into their story and their own unique game modes. I also feel like Halo is more of a trendsetter rather than a trend follower. But most of all, I feel like by the time Halo Infinite comes out, people will start having have moved on to f uh, from Battle Royale games to hop on whatever the next trend is. That could be very true. I don't see Halo Infinite coming out until 2020, probably October of 2020 would be my guess, along with the TV show. That's, they confirmed the TV show is launching at that time. And I just would not expect uh, Halo Infinite to come out any sooner. And that a lot can change within two years, especially. Uh, I mean, like, look what happened to Halo. I mean, like, we, we've gone up and down so many times now with this community that, like, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, it, yeah, like, you, when you're making a game like um, a Battle Royale game mode, you need to kind of make sure you can project that, yeah, this is still going to be some people will want, like, a year or year or two in the future. I mean, well, I like Call of Duty uh, made their blackout mode within a year before release. Now, they do have much more resources, I would say, than 343 does. They have multiple teams that work on uh, on 
uh, the Blackout game modes and just Call of Duty in general. I think they have like three studios helped out with Black Ops 4. Where in uh, Infinite, it's probably going to just be like 343, maybe some minor outsourced teams, but that's about it. It's not going to be as much of an expansive experience. Uh, team and so working on something like a battle royale would probably take about at least two years I would say but yeah definitely put more effort into the story as well because the Halo Fire story was just so weak it was just weak and they also talk about how Halo was a trend setter and not a trend follower that's also very true as well we've definitely seen that happen with Halo where it kind of started following other parts of games rather than kind of leading the charge now it does kind of come with age as well i say with halo because i think that the gameplay of halo kind of peaked at halo 3 and then at that point you're like okay well what do we do to make the game new and fresh to make people want to play it kind of like making change the change for change sake so that you can talk about it and advertise it to get people excited rather than have it be like a new map pack you know what i mean and so at that point like halo is an old game it's been out since 2001 and I think the gameplay, core gameplay mechanics of Halo have been kind of refined to the point where they, they were perfected, I think, pretty much in Halo 3. And um, they, you know, when Bungie tried to reinvent Halo with Reach, you saw a lot of issues happen with that because they needed to justify a reason to make their game. Which I think, uh, you know, added in, uh, like, load. I think low-key there was loadouts in Reach, and uh, there were also Sprint as well, which is awful i think in for reach and so uh it, sometimes you, you gotta follow sometimes you gotta lead i think sometimes it's good to follow and i think like i mentioned earlier in the video that uh, it'd be actually pretty good to follow the battle royale trend because it's so red hot popular right now that it would just be bringing people in just because it's a new battle ro royale game and lastly bro here says no just no. If anything should happen, it should be a spin-off game. I don't want 343 to waste time making one game mode for Infinite cause like cause like Warzone, it will take too much time to make. And yeah, understandable. Like it definitely resources would be, you know, have to be reallocated if you're gonna put a battle royale into Halo. Me personally, I'd be totally willing willing to drop Warzone for a battle royale mode, but that's just me though. Uh, ultimately, I would like to see you know, a really good campaign, a really good firefight, a really good multiplayer, and battle royale. That'd be kind of be like my perfect setup for Halo Infinite. But uh, you know, some people really like Warzone. Some people, you know, the community is so kind of divided up that like that's what makes Halo so great. Though is that there's so many ways to enjoy Halo in your own way and make your own experience that you can't get with any other shooter out there and that's why i think halo is such a special franchise because remember that there are a lot of people that are still interested in the battle royale mode i'd say if you're gonna put the maybe because remember what sketch said it was a yes maybe or no and if you're going to consider the maybes as half yes or, or maybe if you're going to consider the maybes as yes then that was 66 percent of people for battle royale mode in halo or if you consider them as no's, I guess it would be the other way around, but I like to think more positive that people who are maybe would probably be willing to play it rather than just strip no. <sighs> yes, that was a very long video, but I really wanted to get this video out and talk about Battle Royale more for Halo because I think it would be a really interesting thing to do. Uh, me, personally, I like to see it part as a main Halo game. We saw a lot of suggestions saying give it the Forge, or a lot of suggestions saying make it as a separate Halo game, maybe like kind of like an ODST spin-off kind of thing. I think the ODST theme fits perfectly within the Battle Royale style of game, so... That's something to take in consideration. I would, I'm still all for Battle Royale, but I'm really like to get a chance to keep talking with you guys about certain kind of topics. So if you have your own topic you want to talk about, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Maybe we can continue on this discussion type video with you guys on the channel here. I really do like your uh, feedback and uh, look forward to seeing more from you. So uh, thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to tap that like button. It really lets help, helps out the video. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Like I said, leave a comment if you want to continue on the series and if you have your own topic you want to talk about. If you're new to the channel, I'll stay updated with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe on the channel with the bell. Keeps you notified whenever, whenever you do anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. And if you're new to the channel, miss anything content, any content for you, check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.